Can I just stop you for one moment there? I just want to elaborate on that because you said something really important right there. And that is part of the mission that we always had at Miss Midnight Sedge. We have always been about preserving the integrity of the characters and the properties that are being adapted in any given adaptation. Of course, we ha- I have a penchant for things like the Punisher or Conan or Judge Dredd, but really it doesn't matter. Across the board, you have to be really protective of the integrity of whatever it is that you're adapting. And you said it right there. These aren't just movies. They are culture. And for America in particular, they are extra important. Because characters like Superman, like Batman, like Star Wars, they're not just movies. They are the American mythology. For instance, I'm from Norway. We have Norse mythology. Uh, Every country around Europe, every country around the world, they are going to have their own national cultural icons that bind them together, that is part of the cohesion that binds people there together, that makes them Norwegian, that makes them Swedish, that makes them Scandinavian, Nordic, European, African, Egyptian, whatever. There's always going to be some kind of things that binds the culture together. I submit that in America, it is your movies. It is Star Wars, it is Spider-Man, it is those things. Those things are the American culture, the modern American culture, the thing that everyone has in common. Doesn't matter if you are conservative, doesn't matter if you're Republican, doesn't matter if you're independent. A whole generation of Americans grew up on Star Wars and they passed it on to their children. It became a f- part of the fabric of the culture. It's one of the things, one of the references. For Just for instance, look in the Avengers, when you have Steve Rogers, who's been frozen for a better part of a century. He's a man out of time. And suddenly he's like, I caught that reference. A reference from The Wizard of Oz. Because that's American culture. A movie that he had seen in his time but that it's since become part of the culture and the popular vernacular. That's what movies are in America. And when you muck with those, when you go in and you deliberately try to subvert them, and subvert is a negative term, there's nothing positive about that. Trying to surprise the audience is positive. But when Ryan Johnson said that he went in to subvert expectations with Star Wars, There's nothing good about that. That's destroying Star Wars, or rather, it's destroying that little aspect of American culture, that little aspect of something that binds people together. Yeah, that's just one little thing. Not everyone cares about Star Wars. Personally, I don't care that much. But it's one part of many, many different things. And when you start chipping away at enough of those things, you start ruining the culture. You start taking away the things that bind people together. That is why it's important to preserve the integrity of such characters and such stories.